everybody, it's Rachel. I'm here back again um, talking about shade prep. So today we are going to be prepping your chocolate shades. Those are gonna be prepped into three shade segment pieces and five shade segment pieces. Um, today I'm just gonna show you how to make the three segment piece, five segment pieces, exact same steps. It's just five shades instead of three. Um, Important thing to note when prepping your shades is to check the depth of your window. If you are a store with narrow windows, um, narrow we're calling 42 inches or less window to wall depth, you're gonna need to trim your shades down. So you're trimming shades by six inches shorter than the total window to wall depth of your window. For example, if you have a 36 inch window, you're gonna trim that shade down to 30 inches because your window is 36. You want to take six away for your shade. Um, that's only if you have narrow windows. So just keep that in mind. Some of you are going to have to trim down. Um, if your depth is greater, don't worry about it. So let's dive into some prep. Okay. So I have my three shade segments all laid out here to make my three segment piece. So I have the adhesive, facing a non-adhesive area. And then for my last one, I have adhesive facing adhesive so that we just have a paper end. So to start, I'm gonna peel my adhesive here. I've kind of prematurely lined them up, but now I'm gonna like gently slide them together and I'm gonna make sure that this first edge perfectly meets the edge over here. And then I'm just gonna stick them together, just like that. Then I'm gonna move to my other, my third segment. I'm gonna peel my adhesive. Note the direction that your pleat is so that you are just making another pleat, not doubling pleats up. So both of these are going in. So they'll come together and make a pleat. Peel the adhesive on this one. Make sure they're lined up. And you can also just kind of squish them together like that. Now you have your three segments all stuck together. So we're gonna flip it on its side. We're gonna take a protective surface, place underneath. And then we're gonna drill a hole about an inch, inch and a half up from the bottom. I'm compressing them down with my hand to make them nice and tight. I'm gonna drill that hole. And while I have them compressed, I'm gonna just quick slide in my wire like that. So when you're drilling, note, if you have an end that is messed up, make sure that's where you trim, if you're trimming, and make sure that is what is the end where you're drilling. That is the end where you're drilling. So, have this here. And then that weird end will be towards the wall. Now I'm gonna take my two dowels. I'm gonna open up the last two pleats. I'm gonna slide the dowel under the floral wire. And I'm gonna leave about three inches sticking out on each end, just like that. I'm then gonna take some hot glue And I'm gonna glue that dowel into the pleat. This is gonna be super helpful 
for your install. So this is a really important step. Just like that. And make sure you add glue all the way down and on the edges so that it makes one solid pleat. Hey, Lauren here with some hot tips for your chocolate shades. The first is to reserve some of them to make single shades. You'll see some single shades here in the natural, but be sure to also make some in the chocolate. And then the second tip is once you've finished installing your dowels and wire into your prepped shades, that'll be your prepped um, shades that are in threes and fives. You'll take a rubber band that we've sent and wrap it around the loose end and that's just to keep it safe for install. 